This is Christopher Owasanya with AWPS Renewable Energy, Lagos, Nigeria, Atlantic Western Power System, New Jersey. Today, we are going to talk about charge controllers. One of the questions that people have asked is, can I use a PWM charge controller on a large installation? A PWM is a pulse width modulation, so it uses a series of pulses to make a determination as to how it's going to charge your batteries? The answer is actually yes. Uh, PWMs are very simple. They actually moderate, well, they used to be more durable than your MPPT, but with advances in technology and time, MPPTs are just as durable. A uh, PWM will take you through your um, bulk, your absorb, and your float phases of your charge uh, sequence for your batteries. What are the limitations of PWM? Well, one, uh, the voltage you run through it is one, and secondly, they are dependent on battery voltage to get the maximum out of your PV. So, a PWM will work on the large installation. Now, I'm going to show you three charge controllers today. They're all MPPT charge controllers. You see people buy a charge controller, they buy a 30, 40 amp charge controller, they tell you it's an MPPT charge controller, they pay 20,000 20, naira for it, and they're convinced that it works. Well, I do not believe that a 20,000 Naira charge, MPP, charge controller is an MPPT charge controller. Um, if your charge controller doesn't weigh at least 8 pounds, um, in kgs that's about five or 4 5 kgs, then I don't think it's, a, it's an MPPT charge controller. So I'll show you three that we've used, and then I'll tell you um, the benefits of an MPPT versus a PWM. So the first one I'm going to show you is back here. Uh, this is a 60 amp, 12, 24 volt MPPT charge controller. It's of course, one of the Chinese made ones. As you see, it has um, cooling fins for when it's going through its charge cycle. Um, it can dissipate heat. Um, if you look on here, it tells you the maximum PV input is 70 volts. Um, so 30 to 70 volts. And the MPPT range is 15 to 45 volts. So if you're going to install a 12 volt system or a 24 volt system, which is what this will handle, the MPPT range has to be somewhere between 15 and 45 volts for MPPT to work very well. So this doesn't, it doesn't wear anything. As you can see, it only has lights. It doesn't have any display. So you cannot tell what your PV is doing. So you're blind, basically, with this one. The next one I'll show you is manufactured by Voltronics and it's pretty hefty, it's about um, 10 pounds, maybe 8 or 9, 10 pounds, actually maybe more than that one. Okay, it has a display and it can basically give you what your, uh, what your panels are producing, it shows you the amps in, the amps out, it shows you your system voltage and it gives you your production and if you have uh, the software that comes with it, you can plug it right here into your PC and it'll show you uh, what it's actually doing and actually can store that information for a few days. And then the last one I'll show you is what everyone is used to and we've seen a few times. Um, it's an Outback clone. Outback is one of the original uh, manufacturers of charge controller. This is the FM series and it's built by a company called Fangperson in China. It runs the same software. When you open it up, it looks exactly the same way the Outback looks and it weighs about the same. The difference between the FM80 that you see here and the Outback FM80 is a hump at the top for an additional fan. But other than that, they are identical units on the inside. Okay? Now, let me tell you why and it's important to get an MPT, MPPT. Well, so remember I told you that it uses the battery voltage to make the calculation as to how much you can extract from your panels. So let's say your battery is discharged or your battery so let's use a 24 volt system. Your battery is at 20 volts, right? So what it's going to do is you'll multiply that 20 volts by whatever uh, amps that are coming from your panels, and that's what the production of your panels will be. So in effect, you've reduced the performance of your panels. Your panels are not producing the full whatever it is you have installed. What an MPPT will do is this. It's, it's looking at the same voltage, it's looking at the same amps that are coming from your panels, but guess what it does? It steps it up. You can increase it by as much as 100%, and that allows you to extract the maximum. So 100%, so let's say it was 20 amps that was coming 
from your panels, it double it to 40 amps, multiply that by the voltage, and you're extracting more from your panels than you would using a PWM. So let's, I hope today that this uh, actually did it for you and shows you the advantages a P an MPPT has over a PWM charge controller. Last thing, please, don't skimp, okay? Spend money and buy a good charge controller. This is the difference between you replacing your batteries every year and you have two years, or having your batteries last you five or six years, okay? The charge controller makes a huge difference. So this is it. Thank you for watching our, our myths, in so myths, conceptions, and myths about solar power part three. Again, this is Christopher Wasanya with AWPS Renewable Energy Limited in Lagos.